As it is, Mon Green will not be allowed on the premises Monday at Oracle for this game five. And I'll just throw it out to the guys. What's your initial reaction? Well, first of all, I'm happy the league got this out the way early and have us mm -hmm. thinking about it all day or all right. day tomorrow before game five. We knew it was going to happen. Now it's there. What is the next move? Does, does Cleveland go big and bring Kevin Love back in the starting lineup? Do they go small with, with RJ? I think that's the move now with Steve Kerr has to figure out what they do. And I think, D.A., it's most beneficial for Golden State, in my mind, just in terms of Steve Kerr's preparation to have this much time to think about right. which way he wants to go. And on top of that, once Steve makes a decision as to who he's going to play, he has the available time to talk to that player, mm -hmm. give him specific demands of what he's expecting from that player, how that player can get himself in a great mental frame of mind for what a game five closeout game yeah. represents. So terrible news for the Warriors because of what Draymond Green is for that basketball team, yeah. but helpful in the sense 3D, to your point, about the timing of it. Yeah, you know, I can tell you the Cavaliers, they were they were very angry after game four because they were saying well the league's not going to do anything about this it just shows you that the, the league takes this stuff seriously right. and i think going back to the oklahoma city series with uh with draymond i think they made it clear that you got to stop the flailing you know you got to stop the flailing whether you mean to contact people or not right. it's not it's something you can control and the fact that that it happened again i think is what happened? This is what you know. Obvi the obvious this play that everybody remembers was the flagrant right, two in right. the Western Conference Finals right. against Stephen Adams. Yeah, and so I think that was they made it clear that that kind of excessive, and I don't mean excessive in terms of he meant to do it on purpose, but the the movements after the play's over, you got to stop that. And he didn't stop it, and that's that's where where they are right now. Well, he was living on the edge. We knew yeah. this going in, and the the league official statement said that uh, this happened because of unnecessary contact with a retaliatory swipe of the hand to the groin of LeBron James. So, again, he was a flagrant point away. Yeah. He is at the practice facility as we see here. But he had three incidents resulting in the four points coming and, in. And I think that that's the best point about what, why we have arrived at this suspension is this is an accrued yeah. punishment for Draymond Green for actions that have happened in the past. You've earned your points. Mm -hmm. And in this incident, I think with the LeBron James one uh, 3D, there was something with the retaliation and then a swing action afterwards that the league I guarantee you it wasn't necessarily the first action which you could point to LeBron James making the first action mm -hmm. it was a fact that after Draymond made the contact that's going to suspend him there was another swing so exactly. you watch the right hand of Draymond Green come up into the midsection of LeBron James after the step over that's punk the move. first one that's yeah. the first one but then a second swing there yeah and the angle we have plenty of angles to catch the second one I think caught their attention and that's why we're here